All right, y'all reporting live on Jordan phone. His has got arrested. Got arrested. They so stupid. No, I'm not even inside his phone. Y'all, Jordan got arrested. Jordan, if you see this video, I hope you know you dumb as fuck. How the fuck you get caught? All the odd people. All them niggas. Jordan, Quan, Torn. Jordan. Jordan. Say hey to your vlog. Say hey to your vlog. Yeah. Jalen gave it to me. <laughs> Police. Yep. Flashlights on us. All of y'all. Yep. Put their gun out. You feel me? Because we was hiding. So they could have thought that we was going to like pop out and just start busting out of them or something. No. But we got up. All of us put our hands up. You feel me? Told us place the bags down. Put in a dark bitch. Stop in my heart bitch. Not a hard carpet. And look at my scar bitch. Your girl bleed. My girl skew. Your girl sleep in my girl dream. They all creeping. We all creeping. We all creeping. They all skewing. What's good, YouTube? So y'all already know what's going on. Today I got a very special entertaining story time for y'all. Um, I posted on my Instagram about it, and a lot of people was just like, basically just do a story time and tell us what happened. So that's what I'm about to do for y'all. And I just woke up, so I know I look a little, you know, a little rough. And this literally just happened last night, and I'm recording it the next night. So, all right. Before I get into this, just make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications, and my Instagram, I'm about to hit 100K. So go to my Instagram and follow me on my Instagram. You can also add me on Snapchat. Everything is down in the description. For everybody that's wondering about the music, because I know I don't be keeping y'all updated on stuff like this on YouTube. For everybody that's wondering about the music, it will be dropping like weekly kind of now. So just stay tuned on my Instagram, because when I drop music, I'm going to go straight to Instagram. So go stay tuned. So basically, as I could tell by the title, I'm obviously doing a story time on how I got arrested. It. not basically how I got arrested but I'm gonna just say how I got arrested because we were supposed to get arrested but we didn't get arrested but we got arrested but we got hell something I don't know and before I get into this no it's nothing about trying to be hard none of this trying to be a street nigga none of that junk because I know it's some of y'all like that I just think oh yeah we was just shooting junk up shooting people for no reason and we just got caught being dickheads or something no it's none of that so y'all have to fully listen to the situation and understand where I'm coming from and why we got caught what happened basically everything that happened like I'm just gonna go into detail for y'all first off down here in Florida we do um something obviously if y'all don't know what paintball guns are feel me it's quite obvious took mine apart last night but you don't know what paintball guns is feel me paintball gun you feel me it's not that hard took mine apart and i accidentally broke it last night i'm gonna get into how it broke in the middle of the story time so just stay tuned so first off this all started um we just it's, you know it's just a whole group of us like we all just friends we got a group chat on snapchat all of that and we just have fun you know meet up somewhere we just have shootouts with each other it's all friendly stuff going on like we just all cool with each other and we split teams it's just like basketball kind of we pick teams once we meet up somewhere and then just start shooting because you know it's just fun it has nothing to do with being hard it's just having fun it's not like we shooting real guns none of that so us having fun you feel me it's like this event around here and it's called midnight and basically what it is it's like a basketball type of you know basketball type of event everybody go out there like 100 200 people go out there and they just you feel me play basketball watch people play basketball a whole bunch of people go out there look kids everybody so we like okay after midnight we're gonna have a little shootout with us you know so we was about to have our little shootout. We've been playing this in the group chat, you know, just to have this little simple shootout, fun shootout, you feel me? Because why not? You feel me? It's fun. Once you actually get into it, you'll see how fun it is. So we like, all right, at the midnight, we're going to have a little shootout with each other. And we all in a group. So we just talking about it at midnight. Like all of us are sitting there talking about it. And like this little group walked by. And I guess there was some type of gang or something. I don't know. But they walked by us and I guess they was listening too hard or something. And they was like, oh yeah, they said, they said some junk. It was like, y'all shoot at us. Y'all better be ready for what we got or some junk. Like, we wasn't worried because we knew who they was. But like at the same time, we like, gee, like, his paintball guns. What you gonna do? You feel me? So I told one of them that had said something because they was sizing us basically. They was like sizing us like we, would, like we wouldn't have shot at them if they would have tried us or something. So they basically sized us when they walked by. So... I speed up, I was like, y'all better make sure y'all had aim or whatever, because me, like, oh god, you can ask anybody around here, I'm like one of the best shooters when it come down to paintballs down here, so, me, you feel me, I'm, I'm gonna talk my talk, you feel me, I talk with everybody, everybody we go against, we be going against, like, other cities and all, you feel me, and we just, I talk all the time, because nobody gonna hit me, they do hit me, I'm, I'm gonna eat that hit, and then I'm going back at you, like, I'm one of the rawest shooters there is around here, so I'm like, alright, just make sure your aim on point, you feel me, you better have aim, that's basically what I told them, so they walked off, all of us getting a little group to have our little shootout, but we even got to get our shootout, you feel me, it's just like, the, the, the game, you know, whatever that we was talking about, these niggas get in the truck, they get in a truck 
with pellet guns and they just started doing drive-bys on us so you know obviously we got paintball guns on us so we're obviously gonna shoot back at them so we're like dang he like what are y'all riding my pellet guns for so i didn't get hit um they actually drove by one time and i ran up to the truck and got close to them trying to shoot inside because you know they had the window down so i was like all right i'm gonna run up and i'm sitting there niggas just shooting like he just sitting there shooting the pellet gun out like and he didn't hit me by how close i was i swear i was like right there to the truck but like and he didn't hit me but five of us out of the group got hit with the pellet guns people got hit in their legs and everybody was whoever got hit i know they was bleeding because we was all talking about it so yeah they did the job by us on us with those and that happened that that lasted for like 20 minutes and then remember the event that i was telling y'all about midnight that event um people out there called the police so police was already was like they already responded to that event so they pulled up there and then that's for all of us like you know we kind of like dipped away from the situation like we just walked away from the situation from over there because that spot was too hot so we was like yeah we gotta leave this spot because we can't stay here police gonna think that it's us doing some junk bad like no we was just trying to have a friendly shootout but these dudes thought we wanted to shoot at them but they did a job out they, they really shot at us first we didn't like start nothing with them at all they just saw us walking before we did our shootout and they just <laughs> you feel me so after all that went down they uh got out the truck and they hopped on bikes so once we we started walking towards Wawa, it's like a Wawa down the street. So we started walking towards Wawa and we just chilling, you feel me? Just cool and police passing by us while we all got our paintball guns and all. They're not saying nothing. Right before we got in front of Wawa, there's two jits on the bike. So we see them on the bike, they turn around because I guess they saw it was us and they didn't want to run dead into us. So they went around and like hopped in front of us, but they went fast so we couldn't catch them basically. Like we didn't know that they was going to shoot at us. So they drove, it was like this. They went like, yum and then uh and like cut us off and basically they just started like popping at us you feel me i didn't get hit not nan time but they just started shooting at us and we're like dang we didn't expect these just to get on a bike and just start wetting us up like where did they come from with this junk? like so we started chasing them but they went inside a wall like they took another street y'all not gonna understand what i'm talking about but they took another street and went around inside a wall while you can like who brings a pellet gun inside of a store that's already like that's illegal right there you could get a charge for that especially if the police catch you with like you're not supposed to walk inside a store with not no type of gun on you it's still considered a firearm you feel me so nobody none of us in the group the paintball group you know we're we're not dickheads so none of us walked into the store and we're not on like hot junk we not on that we're not gonna walk into a store with a gun it's just we was having fun they went into the store with the pellet guns so i don't know how they didn't get in trouble out of the whole situation but they went in there with the pellet guns and it's like i think i don't know how many of them it is but i know they was in a little group but they was in there and then we all just surrounding while we're waiting for them to come out and we knew police was gonna come eventually so i walk up to the front door I was about to, I think I opened the door because I didn't walk inside the store with it, but I opened the front door and I just, <laughs> I hit one of them twice because he had his pellet gun on him. Like he was gripping it. Like all he was waiting on me to do was like anything, but he was like gripping it right there at the front door, just sitting there waiting on me. So he was gripping on it. I'm like, man, I'm going to shoot him before he shoot me. I wasn't going to spare him. You feel me? So I opened the door pew, pew, and then everybody coming up behind me about to start shooting and jump. I'm like, no, 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 like, no, don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot. G, Cause I know they wanted to rush in and all. So I'm like, let's just go. Let's slide. I hit him twice. Just leave. You feel me? Cause I'm not going to miss. So I hit him twice. And then I walked around. Everybody just sitting there staring. Once we get to the back it's a security guard outside and they just and then he just like all we heard was um he was like yeah they're at the back of the store now so we like damn we know the police when they respond to this quick because the guns was in here like there's a guns in the store and we all got masks on the junk they gonna think we was trying to rob the store or something so you feel me all we heard whoop, feel me we going down the street we, we actually we took their bike because they had two bikes my friend took their bike and he was riding it down the street and then didn't get that far because the police responded so quick so once we saw the first police coming down drop the bike everybody hit it and type people in like people backyards i know i'm not supposed to be saying this information but it's like it doesn't really matter so we run him go to the backyard and everybody just following me in the backyard i could have really been safe right here if i would have just stayed in the backyard but everybody was following me so i was gonna get caught basically i run through the first backyard and i hopped the fence because i wasn't gonna just sit there and it's like a fence like it was like one of the it wasn't an easy fence to hop it was just like straight wall like just straight wood like no step nothing so we, i had to like bro like hop it you feel me so i threw my gun over and that's how my gun is broke um because i had to throw my gun over six fences and on the last fence all i heard was phew, feel me it was done felt like it was gta you know how it's gta and just more police keep pulling up that's exactly how it felt so i hopped the first fence more police is coming and i felt like they were surrounding the houses so i was just like man I'm finna get up out of here because it's like a little neighborhood. So it's another fence. 
So I hopped that fence onto a trash can and my friends just behind me just following me. So I was solo after that. I hopped onto the trash can and I took off. But only thing is I was wearing a white jacket. So that's basically what like kind of got me caught but not at the same time because I could have been safe. And I'm going to tell y'all why. So it was like this big field once you first come out the neighborhood. I hit it through the big field. Like I don't know how big it was, bro, but I was dipping. And all what I hear in that exact moment, I swear to you, I swear to God, it's like six police cars. It's just police car after police cars. Just whoop, 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 whoop. You feel me? So at that point, I'm like, dang, bro, I'm really caught right now. Like, how is this happening, bro? And we were like, we were mistaken for the kids that had the guns in the uh, store because we didn't have no guns in the store. So they thought we was the kids that had the guns in the store. So I hit the first fence and the police is like right behind me, like in his car. He just right behind me following me because remember, I'm in a white jacket. So he clearly see me hitting the fence, but he didn't get out his car or nothing. He already knew he wasn't finna stick with me when I was jumping gay. Like, gee, I was... I don't know how I did it, but I just tossed my gun over and I just, mm, and it was one of the long chain, like the fin, like the metal gates too. So I just mm, hopped over that, and then right when I hopped over that, I hopped. There was another one right next to it, to this abandoned house. I hopped that one too. So that's four. That's four fences right there. On the fourth fence, like hopped that one, and then on the fourth one to get to the abandoned house. That's when my gun just blew up. Like it just, poof, you feel me? And that's all I heard. And then. I was so tired right there, bro. So what I did was I sat at the abandoned house. I sat on the porch because nobody was there. So I laid down and I just set everything down. Then it was like some bushes next to the house. So I went inside the bushes and I just laid down for like five minutes. But I didn't have my phone on me. I didn't have nothing on me. All what I saw was police sirens, all of that and me. I wouldn't say I was paranoid, but at the same time, I was just like, I'm finna get out of here, bro. So my friend lived across the street, like down the street, kind of. It was like a couple of houses down, like not a couple of houses but it was like a couple streets down so me i had so much confidence i really thought i was gonna make it bro so i was like i was gonna just leave my gun and stuff inside this trash can that was at the abandoned house but i didn't do it um and should have did that and i could have just walked off police wouldn't have said nothing but right when i left the house i shouldn't have left the house but right when i left the house i saw my friends pop up and they was just right there with me it was three of them it was three of them though Remember, out of like 14 of us, it was only three of them. So it was four of us together right there. I don't know why, but I stuck with them. We should have all just separated, to be honest. And all we see is like a dead end street. So all we see was the police just pull up right down that street and he just sped down the street. So we took off, we hit a fence and then I think we hit a fence. Yeah. And then he pulled up. I think we went on another street and he pulled up on that street, I think. And then all I remember was we hit like this, like dead end. Like we was trying to go and hop another fence and then like, we got stuck. It was like trees and all. What? Yeah. That boy got something to eat. So basically, we got caught inside of a dead end. Feel me? It was like a fence. And it was like multiple fences stacked on. So it was like, if we would have climbed it, remember, we're still inside of a tree. So it was like a tree and a fence put together. So we was not going to get away from that. Like, we was just stuck right there. So we went back. Like, we backtracked and we went back. We was thinking of a plan. We was just like, let's all put our, just set our guns right here and just come back for them later. So we go back out to the street because nobody wanted to do that. Went back out to the street. All we see, police pop up again. He came right back down the street, sped down the street. I guess he thought he was going to catch us. Took off. And then we didn't go to that same dead end. We went on the side of the house. I remember we ran on the side of the house. I ended up falling. Once we got to the backyard, my friend ended up falling and it made a loud noise. So we thought we was going to get caught right there. Luckily, it was a fence in the backyard that we could actually hop. So we hopped that fence. Everybody throwing their stuff over. Um, and it was so hectic. My first friend jumped the fence and then my other one jumped the fence and I threw my gun over. I think I, I think I hit him. <laughs> Funny, yo. Threw it over. I think I hit him. And then I jumped over him and then my friend was right behind me and he almost jumped on me. So it was just hectic. But little did we know we had jumped into a school. We really didn't know. Like we thought we was just about to go into like another neighborhood or like a church or something. We just thought we was going to keep hopping fences to neighborhoods. But no, we went into a school. And this is where we got caught basically like police didn't have no problem with us with the paintball guns or nothing this is basically where we got caught because we go inside the school like we thought it was abandoned because like the doors was open windows was open so first thing i did once we got into the first building because right when we got in the school police popped up on the other side of the school like we on the left side and police just popped up on the right side like we just like dang he popped up right there. Then another one popped up at the front of the school and they was basically surrounding the school, like chopped us in to where we couldn't get out. Like we knew we was stuck right there. So basically, you feel me? They surrounded it and we go inside one of the buildings where the door was open and like it was a window open. So they probably thought that we broke in it or something, but no, like they was already open. So first thing I did, 
I took my jacket and stuff off. I was bleeding and all, but blood on my jacket and all. First thing I did was I set my gun down. I took it apart and then I placed it down because it was already broke. So anything would have happened to you. It's already a broke gun, so there's nothing that could happen basically. I placed it down and then I placed my jacket on like over. I placed the jacket over the gun so like I could just come back for it later or something. And then all we did, we ran outside, thought we was gonna hop another gate. They popped up. And then we hid behind like this vent. We thought we wasn't finna get caught, but like one of our fans was running too slow. So they had already saw him running and then he just came towards us. He ran towards us and basically blew our cover. And then police, yep, flashlights on us, all of y'all, yep, pulled their gun out. You feel me? Cause we was hiding. So they could have thought that we was finna like pop out and just start busting out of my son. No, but we got up, all of us put our hands up. You feel me? Told us place the bags down and and it's basically it. We basically just got a trespass warning. So for everybody that was like, oh, they got in trouble for shooting paintball guns, this, that, and the third. No, they don't care about us having fun around here. Y'all don't understand that. It's nothing about trying to be hard. We just having fun. And we just made a mistake. Us four made a mistake. Out of all of us that was in the group, us four made a mistake. And we just, you feel me? Went into the school and got a trespass warning. So we just sat there for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, talking to the police, people pulling up and junk had a talk with them they was like they don't care they was like just have fun y'all teenagers we understand it's like just don't shoot at houses don't shoot at cars just down the third we just sitting there having a talk with them like they really didn't care and then me being the person that i am you feel me i was like listen i'm gonna tell y'all this now i was like gee once they i was waiting for it to happen like i was waiting for them to come up with it just be like um is there anything else in the school that we need to know of or something like i was waiting on that so once he said that, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just tell you now. I broke my gun down, like it's a broken gun in there. Um, and I got my jacket in there too, so can I go back and get it? He was like, yeah, took a police officer with me. And we went back there, we went to go get the gun. He carried the gun. He was like, hey man, get your jacket. Took the guns out. They let us get our guns back and all, but like they don't care about that stuff. They, they don't care about us having fun, you feel me? So everybody that was trying to just say that dumb junk on Instagram, listen, you don't know until you listen to the full story, you feel me? So yeah, it was a fun night. We could have got arrested. But the principal and the dean pulled up to the school and they was like, no, nah, don't charge them or nothing, none of that because, you know, he black, we black, you feel me? He just wanted to see us succeed and have fun. He knew we was having fun, but he was like, none of us knew, like, we were actually jumping into a school, but I swear, me being from around here, I didn't even know we was jumping into a school. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a church. I don't know what it was, bro. So, yeah, pulled up. He was like, yeah, man, just stay out of trouble with this, that, and the third, you know, signing our trespass warning papers because if we would have got trespass, bro, you can get, like, 60 days in jail just for trespassing, bro. And all all of that because we was just having fun we was running from the kids with the pellet guns because like we was running from them and then the police we didn't want the police to think that we was like the ones that was shooting the pellet guns inside the store because we really could like bro we could have got charged for they jumped we was running from them to not get caught and then they was just giving us a whole talk like the police was giving us a whole talk like we got surrounded but it wasn't nothing we could do i swear it was like six seven of them out there and they surrounded us everybody that think they would have got away no you wouldn't have got away g trust me if i can't get away if none of us that was in that group couldn't get away none of y'all couldn't have got away so just don't even try to act car do none of that cap and junk none of that you feel me so yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed the story time i probably put a video of us when the police was sitting there talking to us at the end of the video or i'll probably put it like i probably done put it in the video somewhere or something so make sure y'all drop a like subscribe if you new turn on post notifications my instagram is down in the description snapchat is too so you feel me Just have fun kids you feel me don't run somewhere where you can get caught trespassing none of that you feel me learn from me you feel me it's my first experience running from the police. I really thought I was gonna get away, but luckily, you know, we all were straight, no charges, no court dates, none of that. Everybody thought I went to jail, talking about free Jordan, this, and the third. Nah, bro, we're good, trust me. But like, gee, I got scars everywhere. I got this one right here, and then I got this one, and then I got this on my hand, bro, and then I got this on this hand, like,